only traveling teacher here at New Tech, and so. Do you like being a traveling teacher? Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. I don't have to actually decorate a classroom. And I'm still getting used to uh, moving up and down the hallway as much as students, but so far I do like it. Isn't having a cart dangerous? Have you ever hit anyone? In fact, I have. Whenever students don't move out of the way, it helps me get clear out the hallway a little easier. So. Okay. Would you rather have a classroom? Um, Kind of, because then my legs wouldn't get tired at the end of the day, but at the same time, it keeps me, keeps me active and keeps me standing and, um, and active with the students. Is it hard pushing the cart up the hill? Not at all. And in fact, I, I make it a challenge. <laughs> all right, thank you. Hey, New Tech, this is Ms. Jennings. And she is a part of Cooking Club. So how do you join the Cooking Club? Well, right now it's kind of open for everyone to join, but in two weeks we have a deadline that everyone needs to meet, and if you don't meet the deadline, you're kind of out of it. So that's how we tell who's really serious about the club and who's not serious. So in two weeks you have to actually have your cooking card, your license to make sure that you learned all the things about cleanliness of cooking and all the rules of cooking. It's a food handler's card, and so if you don't have that in two weeks, you're out, because that tells us that you're not really that serious. What do you do in cooking club? Um, it's going to be a variety of things. It's not just cooking and eating. We actually want the kids to learn um, how to keep a kitchen clean, the sanitation of it, how to clean up, um, things that you would actually be able to do in like the real world if they want to go into cooking or maybe one day just be a mom and know how to cook. So um, right now we've talked to a couple of the local restaurants like The Gin and Miller's and so we just got all of our supplies delivered. So right now we're just organizing but Next week we're going to start actually cooking and then the next week we're going to have some guest speakers in. So it's a variety. It's either like learning things about cooking in the kitchen or actually cooking from someone. And how often do you meet? Every Tuesday. Okay, thank you. Woo! Hi, this is Orlando and welcome to This Week at New Tech and I'm interviewing um, um, DeAndre Marshall. Uh, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th. In 10th grade, I in uh, what school, what middle school did you come from? Oh, uh, Lake Belton. Lake Belton, the home of the Tigers. So you said you're in 10th grade, so you must have went to the high school last year, correct? Yeah. What made you leave the high school to come to a small campus such as uh, this one? I think, I guess it would be better education or less people and just a great experience. Uh, you play football, correct? Yes. And uh, what position do you play? Well, I play corner. You play corner, and is that for uh, varsity, uh, JV, oh, junior varsity? JV. JV, junior varsity. All righty, um, what number are you? Oh, I'm number 11. You know what 11 times 11 is? Um, um, 131. Huh? Something like that. So why do you like playing football so much? Well, the real reason I play football is just because I don't want to play basketball because there's too much running right now. They do too much running. Yeah. You don't look like a kid that would like to run. No, I, I really don't. You look like a kid that likes to eat pizza and sit on the couch. Nah, I don't like pizza, really. You don't like pizza? Do you like sitting on the couch? Yeah. I like sitting on the couch, too. But I like to run, too. So, uh, do you plan on coming back to New Tech next year? Yeah. You do, you do? And how long do you plan on playing football? Um, this is probably my last year. Your last year? Mm hmm Why? Because I'm straight basketball. Basketball? I thought you said you didn't like running. Well, r they run five miles during off-season, that's why. But I guess I'll just stick, a, stick it in. Hey, New Tech. We are one-on-one -on -one campus, meaning every student has their own laptop. And with that laptop comes different types of programs, like Google SketchUp. Google SketchUp is a 3D modeling site where you get to build objects. And I'll show you what I'm working on. So this right here is just something I created in Google SketchUp. Um, right here you have glass doors or whatever. You can easily just get those by going to Window, Components. Uh, going up here, typing in glass doors. Uh, something pop up. 